In this video, we're going to check out the pianos from the Native Instruments Acoustic Piano Series. That's the Berlin Concert Grand, the New York Concert Grand, the Vienna Concert Grand, and the Upright Piano. So let's go ahead and get started. In this video, we're basically just going to uh, go over the different options that we have here and just see how that affects our tone. In a later video, we will have different videos for every single one of these pianos with no talking so you can actually hear exactly how they sound. Now let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing you'll notice when we click instruments that we have a bunch of different NKI files. Okay, so all of these sound a little bit different. Now we're only going to focus on just the main ones. And in a later video, we will have different uh, samples of each of the different NKIs. And this holds true for our concert grand, our New York concert grand, our Vienna concert grand, and our upright piano. All right. So just to show you what I mean by they sound a little bit different right here, we have the Berlin Concert Grand loaded up. And then down here we have the Berlin Mood NKI loaded up. So first we'll just hear a little bit from the Berlin Concert Grand, okay? All right, very... Very nice. Okay, so now if we were to hear the Berlin mood, you'll definitely hear the difference in this NKI here. So we'll go ahead and hit play here. Hear the differences? Huge difference. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through all of the different NKIs, not in this video, we will do that in a different video. This video, I just want to go over the options here. So just keep in mind that we have different NKIs and they all sound a little bit different. So we have grand with overtones, the mood, the nausea, concert grand, you see we have pop uh, with overtones, same for the Vienna, we have extra bass, concert grand, baroque, and uh, upright, we have intimate, uh, overtones, uh, wonder kind, so on and so forth. Now, the reason we're doing all of these in one video, and we're going to focus here on the Berlin Concert Grand, is simply because, look at the interface. The interface is the same. So what's, what these options do to the tone will be the same. Once you know one, you're gonna know all of them. Of course, the tone's gonna to be a little bit different. So for now, let me go ahead and get rid of this mood just to free up a little bit of uh, space here. Before we go for any further, let's take a look here at our PDF files. So here we have the Berlin Concert Grand, of course, part of the NI Acoustic Piano series. Talks a little bit about it. So the Concert Grand looks like it's based on a Beckstein piano. And of course, it goes over the basic controls, which we're going to go through in this video. And they are all the same for all of the different pianos that we are uh, reviewing here. Okay, all kinds of options that we have for these pianos. Again, here's the New York Concert Grand. Very cool, so renowned. Uh, sounds New York, Hamburg, Germany based company. All right. And as you can see, the interface, the basic controls, drop down menus, things like that, they're all, all the same. On to the Vienna Grand. Okay. Once again, a little bit about the piano and the controls are all the same. Same thing for our upright piano here. Okay. Vintage upright piano, warm, charismatic, compact sound. Okay. Very cool. So we got that out of the way, now we know what the hell we're talking about, right? So once again, let's just hear a little bit from the Berlin Concert Grand here. Very nice. Now we'll move on and we'll just hear a little bit from the New York Concert Grand. Very nice piano. All right, hear a little bit from our Vienna Concert Grand. Again, a very, very nice sample piano there. We'll get into the options here in just a minute. Now we'll check out our upright, just so we get an idea of what all of these sound like, because we're going to be focusing on this Berlin Concert Grand here, just because the interface is exactly the same, okay? So upright, let's go ahead and check this out. Much 
much different sound. Okay, very cool. And right back to our Berlin. There we go. Okay. I want to play a little bit more of this Berlin because we had our distance on far. I should probably put that on near because we have close, I believe, on all of these other ones. So just for comparison's sake there. Very cool. What do you say we go ahead and get on to these options here? Again, we're going to focus on this piano here. Maybe we'll jump around a little bit because everything is the same. Just keep in mind, you know, the tone, the tone we're working with will be a little bit different, but all of this stuff is the same. So input, we have tuning, stretched, equal, pure, harmonic, uh, uh, Pythag, mean T, the Wern curve. Okay, all of this, by the way, is explained in our manual here. Uh, so here we have equal temperament, and stretched tuning here, which you can read about that if you want. So, and this just talks a little bit about the tunings, the pure tunings, how things are sort of shifted around a little bit. Okay. Don't want to delve too deep into this because it would be a very advanced subject that most people just do not care about. And at the end of the day, it's not going to matter most of the time. You just want a good sound. So just keep in mind, you can always come in here and check out how this works. So the well temperaments here. So temperamented, uh, by a uh, workmeister dating from 1691. The fifths C, G, D, and A, B, F sharp are lowered by a quarter. Okay. So all of this stuff can get pretty deep. Just keep in mind, you can always reference this uh, this uh, PDF file if you want to know exactly what they mean. What I would say is just use what sounds good. You know, sounds good to you. Okay. We have our MIDI chart. Note about MIDI velocity, which we're going to get to here in a minute. Just wanted to explain the tunings. You're not going to hear a huge difference. Okay, so if I just change that and we play. We'll go to Young. Definitely tell it there on the harmonic, but a pure. So where this really comes into play is sort of, uh, you know, how the notes relate to each other. We'll just probably keep it on stretched or equals more than likely what a, what I would use most of the time. Anyway, onto the velocity curve. This basically just, uh, you can tune this up for your MIDI keyboard. So I go to three. You hear, I'm not changing how hard I'm hitting the key. It's just the velocity curve is different. So if I hit it really hard, versus really soft, versus if I go a plus three and hit it really soft, and then hard. Okay, I've explained this in other videos of the piano of just that velocity curve. There's no, uh, you know, visual representation on this interface, but uh, you can just imagine a linear curve or a, a slightly convex or concave curve. Okay, uh, you can tune this up for your keyboard. It of course also affects any MIDI that you already have written down, either played in through your MIDI keyboard or with the pencil tool or whatever, what have you. So if I hit play with plus three, you hear how much harder. Uh, that is at that at those certain velocities they're already being played harder than it would be if I, it was on let's say minus three go to neutral which should be a linear curve all right and that is explained in the manual here you can see the difference between the curves right here and the difference uh, between 0 and 127 that that uh, output and input velocity 
would be depending on your curve. Okay, basic stuff there, basic stuff about MIDI. Uh, don't need to go any any further into it than that. We'll just leave it on neutral. On to resonance. So we have a knob here for sustain, and we have the amount right there. Of course, we have release, medium, disable it, soft, medium, strong. And of course, once again, it's all explained in the manuals right here. So we have our sustain resonance unique feature, which controls sustain sample resonance and the release. So the release keys also have a similar effect on undampened high notes. So it generates overtones, so on and so forth. So our noise, the key adjusts the volume of the piano action as a key is released. And then the pedal, of course, is the uh, pedal mechanism. All right, details, which is the lid, pretty uh, self-explanatory, three positions, dynamics. Okay, and then we have things like reverb, and then the pedals, dampers, the una corda, so that basically just sort of uh, shifts the action to one side slightly. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and get back here and see how this affects our, our tone. Let's sustain all the way up. Make the release strong. it down half open we have our dynamics we can go to plus three if we want to really increase that dynamic range which is basically the differences between our softest played notes and the uh, the loudest played notes so if I play that with it at plus three Go to minus three. Very cool. We have reverb amount. Jack it way up. And change the location. Maybe recording studio. Position. As you can see, we can get it very, very wide. Pull it down to zero. Very narrow. Change the distance. It's medium. Go to near and close. Okay, so that is the basics of it. That is pretty much in depth here to all of these different pianos, even though we didn't go over each and every one of them. We'll do that right now, in fact, but all of the controls are exactly the same. Once you know how to use one, you'll know how to use all of the other ones. So let's pop through these real quick and then we'll wrap up the video here. So here's New York. Close that lid. Getting a bit loud there. Pull it down just a bit. Close it all the way down. Open it up. Pull the width way down. So you can get a very wide sound there. Again, all of these different pianos. The controls are the same. The basics of this 
are the same. On to the Vienna Grand. beginning. All right, very nice piano. I really like that, uh, this Vienna Grand here. Turn those down. They don't equal. Turn up a bit. Okay, on to our last piano, the upright. Let's go and hear some of this. Close the lid. Half open. Take the width way down. Way up. Change the tuning a bit and make the curve plus one. Pretty cool. Go back to stretched and set this up to something that I think sounds a little bit better, a little bit wider. I like the close or the near mic, at least for this here. Okay, one last time here. Okay, so we went in depth with each of these pianos, heard how each one of them sound, saw all of the options that we have, and we have quite a few options, not as many as some of the newer uh, piano sample libraries that we have for contact, but good libraries, useful libraries nonetheless. So you can always go check these out at nativeinstruments.com. And in a later video, we will go through more of these NKI files and just have a playthrough with no talking, just so you can hear exactly how the Berlin Concert Grand, the New York Concert Grand, the Vienna Concert Grand, and the upright piano sound in the context of a simple piano track. Okay, so again, you can always learn more about all of these libraries at nativeinstruments.com.